guys, welcome to the fourth part of the advanced inventory tutorial. In this one I'm going to be teaching you guys actually how to click on an item from the inventory, remove it from the inventory, and add it to an equipment slot. So like I said before, um, we're going to be making it so we can equip like a helm, shoulders, different items like that. So I'm going to be going through the code a little bit. I already pre-coded this because there were some things that I haven't uh, done before in the code with this and I didn't want to rewrite it out so in this tutorial I won't be writing it out I'll just be going over exactly what to do to get this to work correctly and then I'll be showing you how it works and everything and explaining it along the way so first we're going to jump into our item class now in here I added a different variable for item type and I created item type which is an enum and this is what we're going to be using to tell um, exactly what the item is so if the item is a helm, if it's shoulders, gloves, pants, boots, ring, or a necklace. Now you could add more to this list depending on what exactly or what type of armor you want for your game. But for now I just did this simple little list. It could have been shorter than this, but I just wanted to add a lot of elements in here just to show you guys exactly um, what it does. And then, um, yeah, we have all our stats in here. We have our rarity all that. I also added a icon. We're not going to be um, working with the icon in this tutorial. Um, maybe next tutorial I'm going to be including an icon and a simple pop-up or something like that um, because we're going to be covering something else in this one. Also in future tutorials I'm going to be talking about um, apply stats a little bit more, how we add stats and remove stats depending on um, if the item is equipped or not. and yeah because I also added a little equipped variable as well but yeah I'll be covering that in future tutorials but this one we just want to uh, focus more on how to actually take the item from the list and throw it into our array for the um, for the equipment so we'll go into our inventory where we've been working and you can see here we have our main inventory and here is our item um, equip menu so pretty much I laid out uh, what each thing does. Zero equals helm, one for shoulders, two for gloves, etc, etc. And the reason why I'm using an array instead of a list like I did here, and the cool thing is you can transfer um, those class variables back and forth between a list and an array, since we were able to do it for items as well, to throw it there and back. But um, the good thing about this is the slots will always stay there. So if I create uh, seven slots for items, um, it'll always be the same. It won't shrink the list or grow the list. Um, it, it'll just null out if I got rid of one. So if I remove, like, yeah, let's say gloves or something, um, that slot will still be there. I'll just have to go and um, add a new item in to replace that. And yeah. So in here, what I did was, I said, uh, it's the same setup as we had before, except this is just new right here and right here. Now I'm going to have to add a bit more for each item to tell which one it is exactly. But for now, I just have a basic setup just to show you guys for these two items. So how it works is it checks uh, main inventory x dot item type. So it, go, it checks the, um, the list itself, um, the main inventory, and it checks what item type that item is that we're going to be clicking. So um, whatever uh, the X item is in that list, it will check to see what item type it is. So when we click on it, it'll compare this, and it'll check what type of item it is exactly that we're dealing with. So what we're dealing with right now is a helm. So what I'm going to want to do if it's a helm, I want to equip it to the zero slot. Since the zero slot in the equip menu is a helm, that's what we're going to want to equip it to. So it pretty much takes this inventory item, whatever it is, and it'll add it to that slot. Now we're going to have to do a couple of things to fix this in the future if we have a previous item in that slot already I want to send that item back to 
the main inventory so we're not um, erasing it because it wouldn't be good to add this one to that slot and the items might actually add up or get some kind of error or just completely replace the item and we want to uh, switch the items so one goes to the equip and the other one heads back to the inventory and then what we want to do is we want to remove at X so it'll remove that button completely from the actual main inventory after it's been sent to the uh, the equip menu and we do the same thing for if we want shoulders so if this item type is of item type shoulders um, it'll be equipping it to the one slot in the equip menu which is right here for shoulders so that's the second slot and it'll add it to it and then it'll remove the button so we get rid of it from the actual inventory itself and that's all we do for equipping items and we'll go tr test this out real quick now for this testing I haven't showed you guys this yet but you could actually go um, to actual game and maximize on play and you can uncheck that and when you hit play it'll play in the window and you can actually view all these stats already so what I want to do is I want to go through and click on my player now in our inventory uh, script so we have here the items that we custom made and they'll get added to this inventory at zero right now but when we start up the game it'll be more and I opened up our equip menu so this is the helm slot and this is the shoulder slot you guys can see that there's nothing in here it's all blank this is just going to show up because it's the first thing on the list but that'll all be changing when we add an item but they're all going to be blank for now and we're going to hit play and as soon as we hit play you notice that um, in my main inventory instead of zero it's now got two and they're both the items that we created from items because we added both these to the uh, the main inventory and you can see these ones are still blank so if I go and I click on let's say sword I'm gonna have to change these names because we're not equipping a helmet or any because this isn't a helmet and this isn't shoulders these are just test uh, test names just to show you guys but uh, as soon as I hit this it equips it to the helm slot and it's labeled helm epic we could even oh I got rid of it from there I would have showed you guys but it's all the same stats so this is for our equip menu and then if we click on axe it uh, adds axe to our equip now um, let's see real quick I did not add another for loop for displaying the actual items inside of the equip menu so we could have one for each one so we're able to click on it and send it back to the inventory so we're going to be covering all that in the future as well I might actually cover that in the next tutorial how to actually um, display that menu and send items back and forth and then from there um, might work with the hover over and all that there's there's a lot gonna be a lot of parts to this tutorial because I'm gonna be covering a lot of stuff but yeah stay tuned for future tutorials and I'll be going over more of the inventory stuff